welcome to my beginner GLSO for synesthesia tutorial series. I'm Jake and over the next few videos I'm going to take you through my personal workflow for writing and creating visuals for synesthesia using GLSO. There are four videos in this series, Atom Editor, Writing the Shader, Coding in Synesthesia and Final Touches. It is recommended that you take some time and watch all the videos through just to make sure you've got the required skills and necessary steps completed as we proceed through the series. Each video will have chapters enabled, making it easier to kind of recap and go through the content as you need. With the workflow I'm going to show you, we'll be building our synesthesia visuals using the OpenGL shader language. This is also referred to as GLSL. GLSL is a powerful shader language and it's great for creative coding. For us, we can use GLSL to build our synesthesia shaders and it's great because there's loads of resources available out there for us to use and look at and study as we build our scenes. Once we've written the bulk of our shader, we can then bring it into Synesthesia, check if it's compatible, and then add reactive and interactive functionality. Before we begin, I just wanna mention a few resources that'd be incredibly useful for us as we begin on our journey with coding GLSL scenes for Synesthesia. Firstly, as we are writing a GLSL shader, the go-to resource is thebookofshaders.com. Produced by Patricio and Jen, it's an amazing educational resource and will cover everything you need to know about GLSL shaders. Then you have shadertoy.com, which allows users to post their own shaders, so it's great for inspiration and study. Lastly, you have the synesthesia documentation, which covers all of the functions, uniforms, and variables synesthesia uses. Links are available down in the description below. With that said, let's begin. 